This right here is the 2025 Toyota Camry, and in this video, we're gonna find out if this is still the commuting king. All right, guys, so starting inside, most commuters are gonna be spending their time inside the vehicle on these seats, and they actually re-engineered re the cushions in them. So your booty cheek bones get that tender love and care they really deserve. And honestly, you really do feel the difference in here. Very supportive, but also very comfortable, and that's ultimately so you don't get a lot of fatigue when sitting for a really long time. These ones on the XSE uh, and also on other grades is available, heated and ventilated seats. And this leather is really nice. They did a really good job on the XSE with this nice, you know, perforation pattern and the, the, the nice, you know, stitching with, the, you know, this overall like layout of the, of the leather. And it looks good and it really fits that sporty vibe, but they do have leather options on the uh, XLE uh, as, so as well. So if you do want a less sporty, more normal, a type of vehicle you do have that option as well but in this situation you still get really nice leather inside and i mean even though this is a commuting vehicle you do want to have a very nice interior and this is really well appointed and the biggest thing is the updated 12.3 inch touchscreen that has apple carplay android auto and built-in wi-fi and it's obviously based on toyota's latest infotainment technology very nice google integration with that google maps based uh, data if you want but also very simple to use controls over here and we like that but what we like even more aside from this physical volume knob that's right next to the driver's hand which is super convenient is physical ac controls you can see your quick buttons for your heated and ventilated seats your dual zone climate control which is very nice and then nice easy to control very simple vents over here let's talk about connectivity down here in the center console you get usb a port for data uh, so you want to do wired apple carplay there is wireless apple carplay android auto but if you want a wired connection, that's the port you go through, but you still get two USB-C ports for fast charging. So if you want to just plug in a fast charging and use wireless Apple CarPlay, that would be your move. The cool thing is they also have a wireless charger down here if you do have, so it's so much versatility for charging just within this like small footprint. You also have a nice little cubby here. People know that, you know, Toyota knows people want to put their, their stuff in the car and have it within reach. And he has this nice tall uh, and long storage compartment right in front of cup holders. And what's cool is like, if you don't want to put your phone on the wireless charger, you have here, and you also have all this space. Like there's this nice slot that goes down the middle. So if you want to put things here, you have that versatility. They did a good amount of thought in like organizing this center console setup. But what's nice, simple, uh, you know, gear selector. No fancy buttons, no fancy, you know, Prius-like thing. It's reliable, it works, it's Toyota, and it's nice that they kept that. Right down here below that is your uh, drive mode selector. You have eco, normal, and sport. You have your EV mode, and we'll talk more about that as a pure uh, only hybrid system, and we'll get into MPGs. Your brake hold, and then your parking brake down there. But let's talk about the center console. Armrest, you're gonna be putting your arm on this a lot. It is on the stiffer side, but there is padding there. I hope that padding you know, lasts. It doesn't like flatten out over time, but knowing Toyota, I'm sure they've considered that. Uh, opening it up though, very large compartment. It's a very simple, big edge to edge, but also forward and back, and then it's also really deep. And you do get a 12 volt down there, which is really nice. If you guys wanna look at what the key is like, this is your key. So we're gonna be looking at, so we're gonna be wearing and tearing on those uh, 905 commutes, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's close this thing up. Uh, up top, digital mirror, uh, mirror is pretty straightforward. This is not a digital one, as you get a regular one. My bad for saying that. But look up here, guys. Panoramic sunroof on the Camry. I never thought I'd see the day, but we have it. It is opening on the fixed front portion, but it also extends to the back, so the rear passengers also get a good experience. If you're looking to be an Uber driver, you want to get the panoramic sunroof, you'll be getting those five-star reviews, if you know what I mean. So, that, there you go. Let's hop on the passenger side, though, and see what the driver gets from their perspective. Okay, let's talk about what the driver gets, guys. So, you do have nice leather on, on this trim. They did a really good job with these accents, guys. Like, they paid attention to the details. Nice leather padded armrest. Uh, all your switch gear is very simple, easy to use. This stuff has been in Toyota for a long time, and it works. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, but let's talk about the, the driving position and like the amount of versatility you get. These seats, they go very far back, very low, very high. It fits, you know, all sorts of individuals because they know a lot of people are going to be getting in these vehicles. And uh, the steering wheel, very nice soft leather. On this XSC, you do get that red stitching, which is a nice little sporty touch. And that's cool if you can, if you can take a look at that up there. Uh, and then you do get a nice 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster that's customizable. You can pull up all sorts of information for your trip, MPG. Uh, you do have like your eco gauge right there, which is really nice. And then this right here uh, gives, uh, is able to sense if the driver's paying attention and if they're tired, tell them if they need to take a rest. So that's really nice. Uh, but all your controls on the steering wheel and uh, it's a, you know, it works, right? Uh, going down here, quick uh, buttons that you can access, auto high beam, traction control off. You can adjust the uh, dimness of your gauge cluster display. 360 surround view camera system. So actually I'm gonna have you take a peek in here on the screen 
and you can see that 360 pan around the car with all the doors are closed of course and that's nice when you are parking this vehicle super cool to have that versatility around around you uh, so coming back to the buttons here you also have your rear hatch opening and right here is your fuel cap opening which you won't be fueling a lot once you find out what the mpg is on this uh, long story short the best you can get is 50 mpg combined but we'll get into that a little more when we talk about this hybrid system which actually um well, let's get into that right now uh, let's talk about what's under the hood of the new camry open up the hood guys you'll notice it's pretty heavy but again like toyota owners they don't know how to open the hood because they don't need to open the hood that's just that's just what they do you know uh Okay, yeah, prop rods right here. I'm gonna use this because this thing is heavy. Uh, but let's talk about this. All Camrys only get hybrids, guys. And I think that's a really big deal because it's a really good hybrid system. It's their fifth gen latest and greatest. And it starts off with this 2.5 liter four cylinder, which we've seen a similar, you know, that number in other Camrys before. No more V6, but it's connected to their new hybrid system. And what is that? It is a improved battery and an electric motor and that gets you up to 232 horsepower if you get the all-wheel drive model, which this does have, the Honda Accord doesn't, this one does if you, do, or if you are looking for a sedan with all-wheel drive. Look at the Camry. On top of that, guys, like I said, 50 MPG combined. And the coolest thing, and the, honestly driving this thing, the biggest benefit you'll see is the electric motor is being used more of the time and give you more power. So you'll be in that EV driving mode a lot more often. Even though it's not a plug-in, you do have that. And I noticed that driving, the engine's really responsive, or the, the powertrain's really responsive, even though the engine itself is turned off, which is great, because I know that usually, you ready to tap on the gas, engine turns on. So it's nice to see that they've made those hardware improvements under the hood. But let's talk about the exterior styling, because they also made a lot of changes there as well. So yeah, guys, look at the new Camry, guys. It is. I think a, a facelift, but with some hardware underpinnings, like I mentioned earlier, but they did a good job with this new design and starting with the new LED headlights with that hammerhead design inspired by the Prius, continuing along, along across the lineup, this nice, it turns amber and it's also white depending on uh, what your headlights configured, uh, configured in, but these are your projector beams down here. This is the XSE, so you do get a little more of that performance styling, guys dive planes, canards along the side of the uh, the bumper here, latched on, they look good, give you that sporty aesthetic, but it continues on, continues on with these functional lens, nice with this black uh, gloss black surround, and that nice hexagonal pattern over there. You do see your parking sensors over here. You also see this nice paint match grill that goes across the entire front. And it's again, it's also that hexagon design. It looks really cool. And there's functional vents up here with that 360 surround view camera up Front. very nice and sleek as far as that integration goes going onto the hood talk about how the Toyota bed is nice and flush look uh, and it's just prominently on the top no longer up the front it's up here now and look at the hood though these lines are so aggressive you have hood lines that literally kind of like a chicane go up like that into the uh, the windshield which looks super cool and then it looks really good in this paint colorway which is on the XSC as we're seeing right here I'll put the name of it if I do uh, get a chance to grab that uh, looking at the wheel package guys nice blacked out wheel option 18 inches these are sitting on 235 40 or 19 inches excuse me uh, 235 40 R19 tires on these 19 inch blacked out wheels and because it's an XSE you do get a sportier tuned suspension uh, but the other one is just slightly stiffer springs but you get an XLE you won't have that stiffer spring setup so keep that in mind uh, coming along the side here guys the XSE also gets a blacked out uh, mirror caps and that two-tone paint so we had a blacked out roof nice speckles on it, nice metallic finish and you also get to really enjoy the panoramic roof, even from the outside, um, as it sheds light into the interior of the vehicle. But along the side, guys, it's pretty standard Camry stuff, nothing crazy. You do get keyless entry grill, which you really appreciate as you get in that air car. You don't have to take your key out, crank that, you know. Uh, so let's come along the side here, guys. Fuel cap, you'll be seeing that every now and then. But with 50 MPG, maybe not so much. Let's talk about the rear styling, guys. They have updated the rear LED taillights, which is super cool more sharper uh, and it's not more more black accenting especially on this bar that goes across that says camry with that lettering nice and spaced out and then this one has a black kind of spoiler decklet spoiler up here which is a nice touch do you need it on a you know camry probably not unless you're mobbing on the freeway at 90 miles an hour i've seen you camera drivers you guys do some pretty crazy thing things going down here guys dual tip exhaust how functional is a dual tip i couldn't tell you if you were to put money on it probably not much but a is got it and if you straight pipe this 2.5 liter you might be getting some pretty crazy sounds 
<laughs> I'm just messing. But I mean, honestly, guys, it's really, you know, it's pretty, cam pretty simple Camry rear design. You have that hybrid electric vehicle badge over here, as well as the XSE badge, just to tell you what kind of grade did you get. Um, if you're commuting or even if you're, you know, driving people around as an Uber driver or you are back here as an Uber rider, look at how much space you get back here. Sitting behind myself, loads of legroom, loads of headroom, especially in this kind of cowl that's tucked in. Even with the panoramic sunroof, it doesn't eat into too much, especially back here. And that's when your head's on the headrest, so you get to actually enjoy that. And let's fold this down here. Nice, very plush, literally, a very nice and plush armrest with two good sized cup holders. You do get vents for the rear passengers, which they will appreciate and hopefully we'll get you close to that five-star uh, review. And then they also get USB-A and USB-C, so they don't have to pick whatever cable you have or whatever cable they have, they can plug in and they'll get charged up on their way to wherever they wanna go. You get nice seat back pockets, standard stuff. And one thing I wanna point out, the door is solid and acoustic glass, guys, keeping that interior a lot quieter than before. This one does also have a JBL sound system, which is a nice touch, but acoustic glass on a Camry, really nice, premium, gives you a way quieter ride, brings that, takes out a lot of that NVH, that noise, vibration, and harshness uh, as you're driving on the highway or just on like louder roads overall. So it's really cool to see that they're paying attention to the customer experience, the commuter's experience, and also the rider's experience. So nice grab handles here, dome lights, that's a uh, pretty much all you need, right? Let's look at the trunk space real quick, guys. So back here, I have a backpack, but we can just yeet that out of the way. Same amount of storage space as before. They didn't change it too much, guys. And you can still pull these tabs if you wanna fold the seats flat and give you even more practicality, a bigger pass through, but solid storage space uh, in the trunk. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up here. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.